time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live right now. Ah, oh, childhood. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what this is. <laughs> Good morning, guys. this morning. Nothing but nostalgia, yeah. Morning, friends. Morning. Good morning. Well, yeah, good so morning. friends, we're talking about the, the show. I guess Jennifer Aniston uh, doesn't doesn't have a lot of faith in, in the show's sticking power. I'm shocked by that. What? Why? Why is that? Well, I mean, so she did this thing where she was talking to the Amer American foreign press. And uh, actually, that's not that makes no sense. She was talking to Yahoo. And so she was talking about the fact that friends, um, some people in different generations, a.k.a. the younger folks, get offended by some of its humor and that some of it might have been a little questionable at the time. But things have evolved and changed since then. A lot of people are more sensitive about different topics than they used to be. And as a result, it, it might not be aging as well as everybody would have hoped it had. Uh, and so she kind of says that that's part of the reason and the problem why there's not as many comedies being made nowadays is because people are afraid of offending people and that we're so divided right now. Uh, but basically just the idea that over time, things that once might have seemed funny no longer do. Hmm. Like, like what? I'm trying to think of something off the top of my head. Okay. So like, if we want to lean into it, uh, Chandler's father was transitioning. Mm. The episodes where Monica was fat and it was fat Monica. And that was the whole joke. Oh, yeah. And the idea of comedy is that you should always punch up. You should never punch down. Yeah. You shouldn't make fun of someone. No one should ever leave feeling badly about themselves. And there are specific episodes that fall into friends where you're like, Ooh, that's mm -hmm. actually mean instead of just funny and so right. i think especially as things have gone on and you've got TikTok and you've got you know gen z isolating specific clips and making videos where if you saw that by itself and not the whole series you go oh oh my what this is this is okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's interesting yeah. i haven't watched friends i'm not one of those people that like has rewatched every season five times i i have some friends who do that but i just i haven't watched it in a long time mm -hmm. i was thinking of the ways that even just some of the plot lines wouldn't hold up because you know someone tries to call you and they leave a voicemail on your home phone and you didn't get the message <laughs> like that wouldn't happen now we would just text each other yeah and you could say that almost about any comedy or stand-up from back in the day i i mean the times were clearly different and the yeah. context has to be there when you're going to make statements like this I think Jennifer Aniston took a really safe approach as to what she had to say. But uh, again, I, I don't think you're going to watch Friends and be like, oh, well, that didn't age all that well. Whereas there's other things that happened in the 90s that certainly did not age well that we and, won't talk about. Right. We also have to give Friends some due credit, too, because they're the first comedy that showed a gay wedding on television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, there's that where there was places where they were ahead. But then there were places where they were behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, 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 that's that's fair, but I, uh -huh. I guess I, I feel like it's it's not an overarching thing where sometimes like you can look at a show and be like that whole show the whole didn't was age inappropriate, well. Right, Whereas right. like this is just like a few bits, a few shows here and there where maybe you can look back and be like, oh, maybe that wasn't great. We know better um, now. Yeah. Right. But it doesn't feel like it was, it's the problem with the show as, as, a, as a whole. I do find it interesting, though, that she says that's why there's not as many comedies being made these days, because I think there's some great stuff out there. I mean, I look yeah, at things I'm like Abbott Elementary well. and uh, Parks and Rec and, you know, some of these shows that I just think are hilarious that have come out in the last few years. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And even the stand-up. I've been going down a stand-up rabbit hole on Netflix lately. They have mm -hmm. some really good specials on there, and comedians are just finding new ways to interpret how they present their jokes. And, yeah. you know, we just got to run with it. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah, right there with you. Um, all right. Uh, ben Affleck addressing his resting Unhappy, unhappy face mm -hmm. yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so he was doing an interview and apparently he completely knows that he has resting unhappy face he owns up to it he says it's not that he's unhappy it's just the way he looks it's the way god made him is his direct <laughs> quote and it's so funny because in the interview he's doing it with kimmel he shows his face and he's like this is what i look like happy this is what I look like sad. And there is no change in his facial <laughs> expression whatsoever. And so it's just really funny to know that, like, Ben Affleck knows that the memes are out there and he just doesn't care. That's his face. You got to <laughs> embrace it if you're in that if you're him. in that spot. Yeah. Look, as a fellow sufferer of RBF, who's gotten so <laughs> many comments over the years, smile, you should smile more. You, what's wrong? And it just it's just my face. OK, <laughs> like I have to actively remember to be to be appearing the happy on on TV because even if I am perfectly content and nothing's wrong, I look angry. <laughs> I don't think you look angry. I didn't and you know think what? So either. That's because I'm constantly reminding myself to keep my eyebrows <laughs> up and smile.
That, that's true, Emily. I've been accused of the same thing. I don't know if it was a New England thing growing up because Ben Affleck and I grew up about 40 minutes away from each other. But I also look at the period of time where people accused me of having resting unhappy face. And I was clearly unhappy. I was depressed. I was getting divorced. It was all happening at the same time. But Emily, you don't have that. We live in the day and age where the camera's always on. Just smile. I, I try. I try really hard to look really pleasant. And, and Botox helps keep the eyebrows up, too. So, you know, like, I, I got I to gotta remember it. Otherwise, I'm going to get a comment every day. What's wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. I'm, nothing's I'm, wrong. I'm happy. Can't you tell? Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy opening day. Bye, man. Happy Bye. And you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. Okay.